All right, I just got a really nice little Zippo in. Let's take a fast look at it. First of all, there's several differences in this one. This comes with a protective sleeve over the box, and it says 1935 replica with slashes. So there's the protective sleeve over the collectible box, and it's got the Zippo wind, Windy Girl there. Uh, windproof Zippo lighter, and it says a week's trial, then all the while. That's one of their slogans. So it's got a collectible box. It says on the back, 1935 replica with slashes. And this one is uh, inside. It also has a collectible insert. 1935 replica made in USA, genuine Zippo. And it is on a uh, brushed chrome body with slashes. It's got slashes here and there and on the other side too. This one has a really nice sound. Fires up really nice like every Zippo should. Good sound. First difference is this 1935 replica is about 1 8 inch shorter than all the other Zippos that I have. This is a 1941 replica on the right Second difference, well, let's take a look at the markings. The markings on this say, in the lower left, it says 1935 replica made in G of 12. I think that's July. And the insert on this one does not match. It is C, March of 12. I'd rather have a matching insert, but it's no big deal. It's got a great sound, looks pretty good on the brass, or the uh, brushed chrome, and another difference is the hinge. You can see the plate that holds the barrel is on the outside, and on every other Zippo that I have, the hinge is on the inside. You can see that 1941, the hinge is on the inside, the hinge plates are on the inside, and the 1935, they're on the outside, so that's pretty cool. And also the sides or the corners, the edges are square, more square, they're not rounded off on all the edges, so they're more square than uh, all my other Zippos. Got a good sound, lights up really good, this would be a really good everyday carry, but it's going to go in my collection for now. It's a very nice Zippo, and that is no joke, knuckle bump.